Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to give you an update on my Canon Riker. I'm going to start with the finished product first so that you can decide if you would like to see the installation. First, I'm going to start with the uh, removal of all the stickers that I had on the bike. The so called debadging. Uh, I removed the, both the Riker stickers on both sides. I removed the red sticker from the suspension. Also the ones in the front. There were one there, one on the other side. There was a label on this filter that was visible from the front. I also removed that one. At the back of the bike on the frame there's another label right here, which I also removed. What's next? I'm planning to vinyl wrap the logos. The one on the back, then and the one in the front. And also I'm planning to vinyl wrap those two panels. And uh, for that I found a super cool vinyl wrap made by Vivid. It's a... Uh, some sort of a camo that has a, a super shine in it it's super cool I love it it's not simple black it's a camo wrap it was hard to see on this angle but I think that's gonna look amazing on the bike and it's gonna match perfectly with the rest of the panels I also finished the setup for the mirror I have a sim card uh, with data on it is from a tablet so now I have access to YouTube I connected my phone to it so if someone calls me I can see on the display what I'm writing I'm probably most likely not going to be able to answer unless I have a earpiece and the mic but at least I'm going to see when someone calls me and I have access to YouTube Google Maps and everything so all the data is going to be on this card I can also use the, the GPS map that's on the mirror itself without using any data. But for example, if I want to look at Google for something, I can do it right away, it's super easy. Now I'm gonna give you an update on the lights. And I'm gonna start with the back lights. I removed those reflector lights at the back and uh, I purchased these ones for like 10 bucks both of them on eBay I'll uh, post the link in the description now I have two LEDs on the sides They're absolutely the same absolutely the same shape as the existing one from the factory and uh, they look absolutely amazing I'm gonna show you how they work I also removed the the sticker that was on the back of the fender a vinyl wrap those um, amber reflector lights so that uh, I don't have to see that amber orange color anymore. It's all black. I changed the the factory halogen uh, bulbs with the uh, regular LED bulbs, the one that you use for your cars, and I purchased them from Amazon. And uh, I followed the video, one of the videos that was on YouTube. One of the guys I liked that uh, idea. You actually you have to remove the glove compartment and remove the headlight itself in order to do a proper connection i do recommend that video to watch it and then uh, i purchased this um what do you call them halogen lights uh, from uh, sling mod absolutely beautiful i love them uh, complain is the fact that um, the wiring wasn't long enough so I can do a proper tie-in because you are basically starting from this point and you have to follow the fo uh, the factory harness and if you follow the factory harness the wire is not going to be it was pretty short it wasn't long enough so I can reach both of the fixtures uh, basically my uh, my only complaint is that those both of the fixture have the same length wire but the wire starts from one side so it would have made sense to have this wire longer instead 
so that they can both reach this end. And um, because the wire wasn't long enough, I had to run my wire to the middle of the bike and split it in half, uh, which I don't totally agree because um, you are right above the motor, so you, then you have to insulate these wires properly. And my concern is the fact that um, these are have this um, shiny plastic. It doesn't look like glass, but um, it could break easily, especially because they are so low. And if with all the rocks on the road, and even if you go on the gravel roads, you might gonna damage these pretty easy. Otherwise, they I really like them. They fit properly, and they have uh, beside the double sided tape. They also have the two clips, so you cannot go wrong. You cannot install them wrong because those uh, clips are gonna provide you the guide so they can do a proper installation on those um, channels. One other thing is that uh, with the new LEDs, 6000K, 6000K, the factory ones looks kind of yellow. This looks like 5000, so I might have to change this ones too. I was also planning to, to get some, uh, some sort of the lights at the back here on the fender and i know uh sling mods and uh le master garage sells them too they're very expensive and if you want to have them shipped to canada it's going to cost you a lot more uh so for that reason i was trying to to purchase something like 10 bucks eight bucks on ebay i found different styles but uh, i'm not quite happy with the with the look so i'm uh I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it the way it is right now. For example, when I purchased these ones, they cost me hundred dollars US, but to have them shipped to Canada, it cost me another fifty dollars. That's um, twenty something for twenty five for the shipment, and another twenty five for the taxes and duties. So it's like 50% extra on top of the selling price. Well, in the States, it's a free shipment. So uh, this is one of the reasons why I don't want to buy those uh, that I like from um, Sling Mods and uh, the Monster Garage. I'm going to show you how they work first. And then you can watch the installation video. For the headlights, I'm not gonna post um, how I did this ones because there is a video on YouTube for these ones. I'm not gonna post the video because uh, Sling Mods has has a video for this, so I'm gonna post in the the link in the description. I'm going to show you uh, how I did uh, the fender up. How I removed this and how I installed these lights, back lights, and I'm also gonna. Uh, give you an update on the mirror so the brake lights work like this if you press the brake turn on if you turn on the lights they turn on but also when you ride for example and you press the brake too they will be brighter They look absolutely amazing. I love them. They really match the bike. And they were like nine bucks for two pieces. Totally worth it. You can definitely get another one if you wish to put it in the middle to replace this one.
also order these LED lights, brake lights, which I'm gonna mount on the sides, one here and one here, and um, I'm gonna connect them to these brake lights. So first I'm gonna take the camera off and the license plate, then I have to remove this plate, one more screw right here. Now look at this, absolutely identical. The only difference is that this one are thicker because they have LEDs. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this off. Uh, I'm gonna do the two holes on this plate so I can mount my LED light instead. Just double-sided tape. Warm it up with a heat gun and remove. It's pretty easy. Three screws, one, two, three. Come out. And now I have access to wire. Let's figure out the wires. I have a black, a yellow with gray, white, and red. I have one of those testers. I'm simply gonna connect this clip to black, which is negative, and uh, I'm gonna touch the other ones to figure out which one is uh, the break and which one is the light. So now I'm going to touch the brake, if I touch red, nothing happens, if I touch white, my LED is going to turn on, so that means I, I have 12 volts. If I'm going to lift my foot from the brake, it turns off, so that means my white, black and white, are my brake lights. So this is for my brake. Now let's figure out which one is for, for the driving lights. I'm gonna try red, this turns on, and uh, that means this is my lights. So that means my connection is gonna be like this, black with black, 
red from my LED to white and blue from my LED to red. Brakes. Good. And then uh, lights. Next I'm gonna remove this screw because I'm trying to bring this wire to the same connection. Two clips here. Pull this out. Move it out of the way. Now I can get my wire behind here. To do a proper connection I'll also remove these bolts that are holding the headlamp in place. So these are the connections, I brought the wires behind those plates, that way when I put the license plate, they go get it covered, this is going to come from top, and you won't see much of these wires, zap strap the existing harness, and uh, this is where it's going to be my connection on the side here. I saw that all the connections all insulated. it for the turn signal if you want in that case you have to connect uh, with the yellow and gray wire next I'm gonna remove this tape well that's interesting the fender on this area it's actually gloss in comparison to the rest of the fender which has this texture but it's not that visible I'm also gonna cover this amber light with some vinyl wrap a few options uh, you can uh, simply Heat it up and remove it because it's attached with the double sided tape. I'll just do it on the spot like this, okay. with alcohol. 